What's for you too? It's your boy, alright, welcome back to Air Mind Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing right here. We're back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to what school lunch looks like around the world. I always wonder that, like for me, my favorite lunch uh, for, for school was um, buying food from the cafeteria. Well, we used to call it, uh, what was it called? We used to call it a talk shop. That's what we used to call it here. That was called a cafeteria, but my favorite thing was a big taxes. Hey! Big taxes and one Gatorade. That was for that was for break. All right. So what I used to do is I used to I was able to get um five dollars a day. So if you smart, right, you would get lunch, right? So lunch would be like twelve o'clock to uh, wait twelve. It'd be like twelve 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 forty five or twelve o'clock or one o'clock. One of them numbers. I can't remember the numbers. So get a lunch right for four dollars five dollars and you hustle the next dollar and you make six so you can buy one gatorade or since as a fat boy and i was cool with the lady she would hook up my plate extra food extra meat and extra rice right so i'm fat now and she let your boy get a gatorade for a dollar you know but here it's expensive so gatorade is two dollars so at school now that i think about it i missed them two dollars i missed them four dollars please them four dollars please to hold a nigga what i'm food is hefty but anyhow, let's get into it, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment all down below. I think I said it right. But that being said, let's get into it. Whether carrying a brown bag from home, picking up a tray from the lunch person, or serving up the food themselves, lunch time at school can be a carry potato, potato for lunch. lunch? Let's That's so look. dull. Kids around the world eat for lunch. You can never go wrong with a ham and cheese sandwich. Voice meal at lunch. Not a ham, but turkey. They begin with a salad, a fresh veg, followed by quality protein. Bro, you made your carry. That's stupid. Why would you make your kids carry a salad to school? By the time they get to school and open it up, the salad all dry and gross and sweaty. Side of roasted broccoli. Look at that sad broccoli. Like French without a course of soft cheeses, jam, and fresh bread. And kids finish with a sweet confection like marzipan. Oh wait, I think they serve in this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. In Japan, kids don't so serve healthy meals. They serve them. To teach healthy cooking, kids take turns helping to cook, serve, and clean up. Oh, that's bullshit. Meals are heavy on... I'm going to pay for the food and cooking? Students in Nigeria are fed well-balanced meals each day. Meals can include smoky, tomatoey jollof rice with chicken and steamed veg. Finland was the first country in the world to provide free lunch to every student, and the law ensures high nutrition standards. Veggies like beetroot salad and roasted turnips take up at least half the plate. Starches and grains such as a crepe topped with slightly tart lemon well, berry. Well, 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 what's all that filling? What's, your, oh, what's all that dry shit? Pea soup topped with smoked ham takes up the other. Crisp bread is served on the side. In South Korea, students eat off steel trays sectioned out for perfect like portion person. sizes. The bigger section is for rice, the circle holds soup, and the smaller portions are for tangy, spicy kimchi, some veggies, and meat-like marinated strips of pork shoulder called jayuk bukong. With a large Orthodox population in Ethiopia, meals are largely plant-based. An array of foods like spicy lentils, zucchini, and yellow split pea soup I won't try that one at the top, the little peas looking, I won't try that, that look good. I hate beans. Thanks to the island's burgeoning farm to school program, kids in Hawaii can expect meals made from scratch Hawaii with local fresh ingredients, such as a chicken stir fry with veggies well, and fresh though. baked bread on the side. That rice looks good. Ukrainian too. kids get their lunch in three courses. First, a soup course such as borscht, a hearty beef based soup with cabbage and red beets to give it a vibrant color, followed by meat and starch like grilled sausages with potato and cheese stuffed dumplings called veraniki. They finish sweet with a shortbread biscuit. A lunch tray in the U.S. can include a gooey grilled cheese and crunchy whole grain bread with creamy tomato soup, carrot soup. So I told you, you can never go wrong with a salad. I mean, a sandwich. And a brownie for dessert before heading back to class. Go ahead, dessert. Time to run to the cafeteria to receive a two-course meal, and if these kids are in Rome, the meal must by law be 70% organic. Primo is the pasta course, while protein and a veg like grilled chicken with a taste Italy. of mozzarella. Italia, Italia, y'all eating good. Yeah. According to the World Food Program, Thai students receive the most nutritional lunches in all of Asia. Kids can expect a balanced meal like grilled chicken, rice, and an antioxidant packed spicy sweet green papaya salad. Families in China pay a monthly fee of about 70 cents per day for children to receive a box of lunch. Inside, kids can find rice, meat, and vegetables. 
I was was way more expensive than that. I was four dollars. Which means schools are required to provide students with healthy meals with 30% of ingredients sourced from local farmers. Kitchen staff cooks fresh foods like frittatas loaded with veggies, paired with hearty rice and beans, and a piece of fruit. Kids in India show up to school with a tiffin box, a stackable metal container filled with a home-cooked meal. See, that's what I'm talking about. Northern Indian kids might enjoy parathas, seasoned flaky bread accompanied with blundy rice, and crispy grab. If you don't want to buy lunch from what the school have, you could pack your own lunch and carry it like a lunch kit. I really don't see nothing wrong with bringing lunch to school, but let's be honest. You never really wanted to bring lunch school. You wanted to buy lunch and go chill with your friends. And, like, your friends would be eating all the nice shit. Like, hey, you get, you get it from the cafeteria? Yeah, man. I got this rice and you know what I mean? Oh, that's nice, man. What you got? What you got in the lunch kit? I got a sandwich and some, some, some chips and some crackers. I ain't gonna lie, though. Them sandwiches be hidden, though. You make a nice turkey club sandwich. I, like I said, I, I just love a turkey club sandwich. Yeah, your tomatoes. Yeah, wait, no, I lied. No, it's made. Yeah, your lettuce, your cheese, your turkey meat, a nice dark smoke, um, fire oven roast turkey, and one nice wheat bread. Cut the crust off. You gotta cut the crust off. Cut up nice and oh, all American cheese. You're done. That's 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 a crazy lunch right there. It's floating in a sea of spiced yogurt. Kids in Guatemala go home for lunch, where they'll eat dishes like pasta in a tomato sauce with beets and tortillas. With classes six days a week, school in Israel finishes before lunchtime, but kids do bring a shot iser, a morning meal, which could be a small snack like pita with hummus and a hard-boiled egg. These niggas eating the hummus? Kids in Trinidad and Tobago might be served rich and gelatinous oxtail stew for lunch paired with busset, soft and flaky shreds of roti. Hey, what's your number, busset? Students in Hong Kong can expect a veggie like steamed broccoli alongside wok fried pork slices and white rice. A kid in the UK might be served baked cod fingers with a hot jack of potato, a heaping set of beans, and a handful of chocolate biscuits for dessert. Mexico, instead of a meal, kids might bring along a morning snack such as a torta, layered with spicy bean dip, sliced ham, tomato, and fresh crisp lettuce. Australian kids eat lunch outside, bringing food from home or buying meals from a cafeteria or street vendor. Food can include classic takeaway comforts like a sausage roll, pork sausage wrapped snugly in puff pastry, with a couple sweet chocolate biscuits called Tim Tams for dessert. Uh. Norwegian schools don't have cafeterias, so kids bring a light lunch from home, which could include an open-faced sandwich with liverwurst, a sausage of pork liver blended with bold spices like cardamom, coriander, and mace. The meat's texture is almost spreadable, close to pate, and is accompanied by toppings like mustard and cheese. Milk and fresh fruit is provided by the school. Although students bring okay. home cooked lunch daily, teachers in Pakistan are known to contact parents if meals don't err on the healthy side. Kids might bring a lugosh, a stew of lamb and potatoes paired with roti, good. and a sweet and creamy mango lassi in the summer. So, which type of school lunch do you want to try? Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Okay. Yeah. Hey, listen. You know what's other, You know what else was a good lunch for school? A lunchable. You could never go wrong with a lunchable either. I think I had to be probably. Out of high school, no, I, I, I probably had to be like 15 years old when I found out you don't have to eat Lunchables in school. You can actually eat Lunchables at home. But to me, it don't taste the same. You got you to gotta eat the pizza, pizza Lunchables at school. It don't taste the same. Don't argue with me, argue with your mammy. It don't taste the same. You have to eat Lunchables in school. That's what I feel like. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Let me know which country you guys are from. And let me know if this, this food that they're saying you have to carry is true. Because I had a little skeptical when they said the Trinidad pod. Trinidad, y'all carrying oxtail school? Why you can't be ox? No children in, in, in Trinidad that are carrying no... You know how... First of all, I don't know if it's expensive in Trinidad. I doubt it'd be expensive. Because the oxtail media is expensive. It's expensive. Um, and you know how much work I'm still born is to get, yeah, you gotta get up and, yeah, you gotta get up in every nick and cranny that I'm still born. And you can't ask some school children to eat that and not expect them to be dirty after that. Come on now. So that made me a little skeptical. But anyhow, let me know if your country listed if this is true, what you guys bring. South Korea, 
No way. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I don't know why the hell I just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about the sneeze, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We always rocking that life game forever for, and forever more. Hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.